Hello and welcome to Math Tutorials. In today's lesson we're going to take a look at estimating population standard deviation. And this is basically making a confidence interval uh, with a chi-squared distribution. And in our books it's section 7.5. The problem we're going to look at um, is actually f from the online homework for Triola's book. Uh, but here it is. Use the confidence, use the given confidence level and sample data to find a confidence interval for the population standard deviation sigma. Assume that a simple random sample has been selected from a population that has a normal distribution. And what we're looking at here is salaries of college graduates who took a geology course in college. And the numbers we're given are we want to make a 98% confidence interval, and the sample was uh, had n equals 71 and the mean of $66,500 with a standard deviation of 18,842. So I'm going to write down the numbers first on my paper here and then we're going to go about uh, figuring out how to do this, how to find a confidence interval. Uh, the tough thing is that section 75 uh, we don't really have a program built into your TI calculators to do a confidence interval for variance or deviation. And there is a plugin. You can download it. Um, they talk about it at the end of the section. You can go to uh, www.aw.com for Addison Wesley uh, slash Triola. And there's a place you can download this thing called S squared int. And that'll help you be able to do it by calculator. But in this tutorial, we're going to go through how you would do this with tables and basically by hand. So let's, uh, let's go through that process together. Page 374 is where you want to look to find the uh, formulas for confidence intervals. And it depends on whether you're doing variance, which is the first formula, or standard deviation. We've been asked to estimate standard deviation, so we're going to use the second formula. And really the only difference is you take a square root of each uh, side of the inequality if you're doing deviation. So this is what we really want to work with um, for our problem. Okay, so let's let's write that down as our starting point. So we, we're going to end up using uh, square root of n minus 1 times s squared over chi squared right is less than sigma is less than square root n minus 1 times s squared over chi squared left. Now if you take a look at what we know in the problem, uh, you need n in the formula and here's n, sample size. You need s in the formula and here's s, sample deviation. So really the only two things we need here are chi, right, chi squared right and chi squared left. So that's what we really need to find in this problem. If you go back to your book and page through, go back a couple pages, um, we can take a look at a picture here. This is a chi squared distribution and you can kind of see uh, these chi squared left and chi squared right are what they called critical values. These are scores um, that are used to separate the middle um, percent from the rest. And the middle percent is supposed to be whatever confidence level you want. Um, in this particular picture it's a 95 percent, but in ours we're asked for 98. So let's go through how you would actually find those points um, for your problem. So let's draw a chi squared distribution Here's zero. And what you do is you mark off two lines here. That would be chi squared left and chi squared right. And you mark them off so that the confidence level you want is in the middle. In our case it's 98%. So this is going to be 0.98 in between those two marks. Now, when you do that, um, we have our level of confidence, alpha, which is 1 minus the confidence level. It's 1 minus 0.9, it's 0.02. And what that really tells you is how much area is left for these two little tails. And they're supposed to be equally split. So if it's 2% that's left, it's going to be 1% in each of these little tails. Now that's going to be key for looking up our chi-squared left and right values. Now that we have our picture, the next thing is to go to the table. It's uh, table A4 in your book. It's way in the back. It's on uh, page 755. And if you take a look at it, it's got degrees of freedom on the left. And that's n minus 1. So in our case, 
we've got degrees of freedom is 71 minus 1. It's 70. So we're going to be looking at 70 uh, down here in the table. And then what the table asks for is area to the right of the critical value that we want. So let's talk about chi squared left. How much area is to its right? How much area is this way? Well remember it has 0.01 to the left. So how much is left? If 1% is on the left, then 99% is to the right. So it's got 0.99 to the right. So we look up 0.99 to the right. That's our second column here. And then we look up 70 degrees of freedom. So 45.442. 45.442 is our chi-squared left. Now let's go to chi-squared right. How much area is to its right? Well, it's just that 1% over here. The 1% is to its right. So we go back to the table, and we're going to look up 0.01 to the right, the second to last column here, and then we're going to still go n equals 70. So it's 100.425. Okay, now that we've got that done, we're ready to go. Here's our confidence interval formula. So let's do it. So it's going to be square root n minus 1. I'm just going to do that in my head. If n is 71, then n minus 1 is 70. So it's going to be 70 times s squared. s is 18,842. And then you divide by, uh, be careful here, you're dividing by chi, chi squared right the bigger one first. So 100.425 goes down there. And then on the other side we're going to do n minus 1, so it's 70 once again. It's the same uh, top of your fraction, nothing changes. But then the bottom you're going to use the chi-squared left value, 45.442. And then all you do from here is you punch these into your calculator and see what you come out with. So what I'm getting, if I type in the first one, I'm getting, I'm going to round to the nearest dollar. That's what the uh, instructions asked for. So I'm getting 15730.955. I'm going to call it 15731, rounding to the nearest dollar. And then the other one, I'm getting 23. 385.5. I'm going to round it up to 86. 23,386. That's our 98% confidence interval estimate. And what it means is that we're 98% confident that the true deviation for the population, for the entire population, uh, lies between these two numbers, 15,731 and 23,386. Okay, so this uh, completes a tutorial on how to do this by hand using the tables in the book, but again there is a way to do it if you download the program for your TI calculator called S squared int and you can figure it, you can look for that at www.aw.com slash triola and you're obviously going to need a way to get that onto your calculator so if you bought, a, bought your calculator and it has a USB cable um, that's going to be how you're going to have to do that.